This is a tutorial for the code update. First, find out the current software version installed using the command showing contents of the header inc PHP file. Use FTP to upload the new software package and the package already installed on your site to the server. If the browser mobile version is installed, upload the new browser package and the already installed mobile package as well. Upload archive scot 8 underscore diff tar gz to upload the code and packages for the database update from the lost version to the site version. Unpack the packages for the code and database update. Move the software packages to the corresponding directories. Move the packages to the old and new directories. Unpack archives for the database update and then remove them since they are no longer needed. Backup code and database. Unpack packages in the old and new directories.
Remove folders that should not be processed during the update script execution. Move the packages to the higher level. Set 777 permissions for reports, update slash log directories, and the config file. Run the update script. Create directories for the files that should be merged. Copy files indicated in the client underscore report txt report in the merge section. Archive files for merging and download the archive.
Unpack the archive and copy B directory with the files on the site to the M directory. Note that B directory contains the backup copy in case the file merge will be unsuccessful. All changes in the file should be made only within the M directory. The file's merging process. Check all files and review each modification. You will see the number of modified lines on the right side of the file name. Notice a file from the M directory in the center. It has the value different from the old and new versions. Since the old and new versions of the code do not differ, skip this modification. Three lines were added to the new version, which means they need to be transferred to the current M version. The next file contains changes in the new version only, which means they need to be moved to the AMP folder as well. The following file was modified in certain lines in the new version and also in the version already installed on the site. The old and new versions of the code are different. Transfer the changes from the new to M and add spaces. The current version appears to have a code missing in the new version, which means it should be removed. Since a small piece of code was added to the new version, it should be also moved to the M folder. The code update is now complete. The database update. Go to the database update page at domain slash update. Select the update script from the current to new version. Select languages compatibility. Check if update slash log directory has 777 permissions. Check for errors in the logs as soon as the update is complete. In case there are errors, check what causes them and run the query once again.
Note that the site will not work during this process, so it is recommended to temporarily suspend it. The database update scripts should be performed step by step in the build's ascending order.